Yes, well, it was only a week ago that this was still very much a fresh and developing incident, and there were very few answers. Um, where we are now on Ascot Drive, a very busy road in South Derby, the road was completely closed off, no one could get in and out except for police, and police were investigating what exactly had happened. Uh, they later revealed to us uh, that one Marius Siolak, who's 35 years old and a, a Romanian national, had been killed by armed officers. Just to give you that background, uh, what's believed to have happened uh, was armed officers were called to a situation where Mr Marius was um, believed to be smashing glass here at the police station. And as you quite rightly just said there in your intro, uh, the IOPC report, which is now investigating into what happened. In the update, they said that uh, police used multi-bang stun grenades, tasers and a baton round before firing a single gunshot which Mr. Sierlach, uh, which hit Mr. Sierlach in his abdomen. Uh, he did go to hospital, but the IOPC says um, it was from that gunshot wound uh, that Mr. Sierlach later died and they were citing provisional post-mortem um, evidence that they found. Um, the investigating police watchdog has said that they also found three different knives of varying sizes um, in the scene and uh, they were taken as evidence. They're also now going on to the next stage of this process because it is going to be quite a long process. They're going to be looking at hundreds of hours of CCTV. They're going to be speaking to different witnesses and they also add that police officers are being classed as witnesses, witnesses to this incident. Now, very crucially here, the IOPC, the independent watchdog, has said that while in a community like this, people will always be looking for answers, they're asking people not to commit to speculation or rumour as they do continue their investigation. And when that investigation ends, there will quite rightly be a post-mortem, um, sorry, there will quite rightly be an inquest into what exactly happened and why it was that Mr Sealak died a week ago. Will Hollis, thank you very much indeed for giving us that uh, update.